Hey everyone, welcome back. All New York City students are officially back to school and uh, when we're all still dealing with the mental impact of COVID-19. So the Bronx Can, a non-for-profit organization, is holding a back to school creative writing workshop for high schoolers that will allow them to release the chaos of 2020 on paper. And joining us to tell us more, we welcome the Bronx Can founder and executive director, Jen Fernandez. Hello, Jen. Welcome. Hi, Rena. Thanks for having me. Happy to be here. Yeah, we're happy to have you. And we are so excited about this initiative you've uh, chosen to take on. Um, first, um, I, I'd love to open up with uh, asking why the high schoolers, right? No, because they're, they're the ones that always feel misunderstood. So I think it's a great choice of, of demographics. But um, just why do you choose the high schoolers? Yeah, I remember my high school years. I remember those moments of feeling alone, of feeling isolated. Um, and so the high school demographic is something that I particularly take to. Um, those years of like social anxiety and peer pressure and bullying and now social media, it has exacerbated um, whatever pressure that, that, that we've probably felt when we were kids, it has increased. And so I think that that's a demographic that can't be overlooked and, and we need to pay attention to and care yeah. for. I, I, you know, you're so right, and and it's so lovely that um, you've told you've chosen to take on the next generation. And I'm always applauding anyone and everyone who takes on the next generation because we as adults are dealing with it, and um, we're dealing with it at least coming from a place of having more experience in life. Whereas the next generation and even the generation after them. Um, it's it's going to be really challenging for them in their development. So this outlet of being able to put it on paper and kind of sort it out for themselves is really, really a wonderful initiative. So let, talk us through exactly what, what the actual workshop looks like from beginning to end. Sure. So part of what I say is that I, I want to be the person that I needed when I was younger. And so I know I needed a caring adult, someone to guide me through whatever emotions I was dealing with. And my parents went through a divorce and it was really difficult for me. And so things like that. And so the workshop will start with just welcome, wel welcoming them in and um, with whatever music in the background and we'll do writing prompts. So I'm using culturally relevant poetry, music, things that speak to the youth that is relevant, right? So we're not going back to Henrik Ibsen like I did in high school or something um, in a dollhouse, which is great literature, but the youth need to relate to the material. So it's culturally relevant writing prompts and that will guide them through writing. We'll do an icebreaker, um, to make them feel comfortable and at ease with one another. And when they're ready and if they're ready, they can share it out. There's something that happens when you get the thoughts and the anxiety out of your head, out of your body and onto paper. And when you speak it forth, right? There's power, there's healing, there's freedom. And so that's the space that I wanna create and that's done with intentionality. And there's back to school kits, there will be food. It's held at a local venue, Boogie Down Grind Cafe. I'm sure you're familiar with it. Um, in the outdoor space so it'll be socially distanced and safe um, masks are required so yeah we're just creating an intentional space for youth to be it's wonderful and so how frequent would they be meeting up to participate in this workshop yeah so this is the launch event um, we're doing one every month um, through the end of the year and there'll be group mentoring as well because the, the Bronx can is a creative writing and group mentoring workshop so the idea is to expose them to their inner world and their outer world, create access to people, increase their network, and expose them to um, things beyond their zip code. So when you say once a month, are you saying um, this is an annual workshop that is once a month attendance? I just want clarity. Yeah, so it's a 15 session curriculum. Um, okay. And so when I partner up with the schools, it will go through a semester. But since I don't have any par partnerships at the moment, mm -hmm. we'll be doing them once a month. And, and you're actually holding them or, or the, the, the Boogie Down Grind is um, actually hosting you for the time being. Right. Because that outdoor space, which is lovely and also welcoming and very urban. And, and, and again, okay. going back to the high schoolers, you know, it has to be trendy, you know, <laughs> to get them enrolled. Yeah. And I love that we get to partner with the Bronx venue, right? 
right. part of my frustration was like, I don't want to go to Harlem. I don't want to go to Brooklyn. I want to do it here in my hometown, especially with the title, you know, the Bronx can. So yeah, the Bronx can support small businesses in the Bronx. Yeah. All right. So um, when does it start? How many people is it limited to? Is there a limitation and is there registration required? Yes, registration is required to attend. There is an Eventbrite link listed on the website, thebronxcan.org, and it's limited to 15 young people because we want to create a space of intimacy. The larger the group, the more hesitant people are in sharing. Um, so right now it's capped at 15, and um, there is a waiting list, so if more people sign up, they can attend the next one. And so you said high schoolers, so what's the age range that we're looking at? 14, 19 years old. 14 to 19. Yes. Yeah. And so you did mention that the um, the style is cultural, but um, you, are you going to be visiting different genres? It's mostly poetry and music. Um, okay. Those are the areas that I particularly specialize in. When mm -hmm. we um, get teaching artists, they can bring in different genres, right? But um, I'm sticking to what I know, and that's poetry <laughs> and, and music. And so using that, and that's also what they relate to. And it's, it's, it's writers like Elizabeth Acevedo, Elizabeth Velasquez, who's just coming out with a book, um, Clint Smith. They write about these deep social issues um, that they can relate to. And so tying that to their lives is, is the goal here. Yeah, we just had Elizabeth Velasquez on uh, last oh, week. Oh, fun, I yeah, love her. For her book release, yeah. <laughs> when we make it, right? And so, um, how long uh, of a sessions are, are, are these workshops? Yeah, they go uh, an hour and a half. Hmm? An hour and a half. An hour so and for half. Saturday, I set it for one to three because, you know, welcoming people in, allowing time for um, whatever issues people may have, and just setting the tone and setting the space. So it's from one to three on Saturday, the 25th. Yeah, well, congratulations on launching this. Now, what do you hope for it to evolve into? I mean, obviously you mentioned something about partnering up with schools, but where you're at right now, like you, you limited it to 15, you're, you partnered up with the Boogie uh, Down Grind, um, you, you're also uh, bringing in uh, certain authors of a certain style, right, um, that actually use code switching in, in their language, uh, which is, you know, again, going back to enrolling the high schoolers and the teenagers and, and helping them navigate through this, really, this is a very trivial time that we're all enduring. Right. Yeah. The goal is to amplify Bronx voices. So I spent some time living in LA and the narrative that they have and just the society has of the Bronx needs to change. I think we're awesome. We're capable of a lot and we have done a lot. And so hearing these Bronx stories from the youth and knowing that it's not one single story, right? Your story is different than my story. Um, and so I'd like to publish these stories and provide merchandise so that their, their words are on t-shirts, so that their words are on online platforms and, on, and in print. So it's really amplifying their voice and their stories, not fiction, but their genuine real stories. Yeah, that's wonderful. Wow. Thank you for bringing it here to our viewers. And once again, for looking out for the next generation, that seems to be the theme of today's show, which we love because it's all about you guys. It's your world. Uh, once again, Bronx Can founder and executive director, Jen Fernandez. And for if you're interested in registry, registering, excuse me, for the Bronx Can Mental Health Writing Workshop, for high schoolers only, <laughs> you got to visit bronxcan.org and or you can visit them on IG and FB at the Bronx Can. All right, we have to take a quick break for when we return. We're going to hear about a theatrical, theatrical monologues, I should say, celebrating statue-worthy women. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 